Hello, everybody. Welcome to this episode of the Mayhem Lab. Uh, today, as you can see, uh, Kevin has virtually stopped by to uh, to say hi and help me with a math problem for my Arduino uh, RFID reader rig. All right, so we, uh, like I said, Kevin is here. That's fantastic. Haven't seen him in a while. Kevin, how's it going? Oh, it's going pretty well. Uh, the, the hermit life actually suits me pretty well. I don't mind being stuck at home and not spending money and not running around. So, <laughs> yeah, um, I shop more at Menards because I think I'm trying to get stuff done around the house and get things fixed because it's bothering me more. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, so hopefully uh, you can help me solve my math problem. Yep. Um, so I've I've called in the big guns. <laughs> I've called in the Kevin. Uh, let's let's see here. Switch back over and show you my mathematical funness that I've got going on here. All right. So you can see my screen, right? Yep. Cool. All right. So what we have here is the uh, code for the the reader rig that I've been that I've been working on. Um, it doesn't do anything real special. In fact, I've, most of this was kind of just shaved off the internet. Um, I've I've made it a little bit prettier uh, in my own my own way. But what I'm trying to do is I've got some hid cards, and if I scan them, uh, as we can see, it gives me the raw binary on top gives me the number of bits, um, facility code, and card number, which is great. What I'm working on is the tag ID. Okay. So I was just screwing around here. Let me reset this. If we change this to hex. So the tag ID is really um, a hexadecimal representation of the facility code and the card code. Okay. Um, so it's, it's not like it's magic. Um, so there's the tag ID for this particular tag. Okay. Um, what my problem is, when I look at it from a Proxmark perspective, whoops, low frequency search, you'll notice from what I've learned, um, it, it's appending this 2004 to the front of the um, number. Okay. I'm not 100% sure where 2004 is coming from. Mm -hmm. um, and if it was that easy just to stick the number in front of it, that's what I would do because, you know, <laughs> appending something uh, in Arduino land is not that hard. Right. Um, but what I've learned is, oops, still got to fix that bug. Sometimes it doesn't like to read cards. Um, sometimes it ends up with an extra bit. Okay. And from what I have read, that bit, as you can see, gets mathematically appended so okay. you 2004 to 2005 um so if so basically it is just a just a um a concatenation uh except when there's an extra bit and then you have to do the math and okay. that's that's where i'm stuck my brain my brain stops working at, at hexa, hexadecimal math yeah <laughs> so all right so so it's adding like 2004 million of hex to that number. Yes. And and hex math is screw. Yeah, it's hard on and the brain. Every time I yeah, every time I try to do something, I was kind of just farting around with it, trying to do some yep. different math stuff, and it just it wasn't having it. So so if it was just decimal, all we would do was add two zero zero four zero 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 to that number. Right. Uh, but this is hex. Um so we could convert 2004 hex 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, decimal and then add it. Um, but actually, so whether we're displaying it on the screen in hex or decimal or binary, the number, the number is the number in the system. It doesn't care how you display it on the screen. True. So try serial dot print line where you've got the tag ID, like this tag ID one. Mm -hmm. uh, do 0x, 
Oh, sorry. Where, where you've got tag ID? Down here. Uh, that'll work. Yeah, change that to hex. And then in front of tag ID, put 0x2004 zero 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 plus tag ID. There you go. Let's see what happens. Let me get rid of this. Yeah. My, uh, my partner around here. <laughs> All right. Um, long, 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 integer, integer, ambiguous. Oh, it's too long a number? Maybe we need to do the math first. So is there anything longer than a long? <laughs> um, That's a good question. Or do we know, like an extra I long? <laughs> I don't know. I know an unassigned long doubles because a long will go into positive and negative, so if you do an unassigned, it'll just go into the positive, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Um, but I thought tag ID was already unsigned. Yeah, I already have it as unsigned. Right. So I think that's as big a number as mm -hmm. you can have. What is a long? A long. Uh, would that number fit into a long? So a long is like two billion. Uh, yeah. So that number doesn't even fit into a long. That's scary. Okay. Huh. <laughs> Okay, but um, all right. So more bit math. I thought that was going to be easy. <laughs> <laughs> if it was easy, I wouldn't have to call you. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, switch back to the screen and think here for a minute. Yeah, and there's people out who are screaming at us because there is a simple solution to this. Um, Probably. Uh, that's why they call it education, right? Um, I don't know what we even Google here. Adding. Oh. Well, so I wonder if the ugly hack. Here, let's do this. Uh, delete the two zero zero. Leave the four. Okay. See if that goes. Should be under the limit. Okay. Turn up loading. Nope. Changes the tag. It changes the tag ID altogether. Does it? Oh no! Sorry, I was wrong card. <laughs> I might have one too many cards laying on my desk. Um. So yeah, five. Oh no, it did do the math, didn't it? Five zero. Yeah, I think that worked. Yeah, as long as. And then you just append two zero zero. Yeah, you're just appending two zero zero to make up for the fact <laughs> that you can't put that big enough number in. Oh, uh, that's funny. Boy, that's an ugly hack, but it'll work. It's as long as, as long as it's never, you know, you're never adding more than just one extra digit there. From what I've read, it is just one digit. Yeah. Um, and again, I, I don't know uh, where that 2004 comes from. I don't know if it's a hid thing. I don't know if it's an RFID thing. I'm not sure yet. Mm -hmm. um, it's just uh, when I started, and I guess that's the whole point of building this rig. And I know this has all been done. Um, you know, there's tons of sample code out there for hid readers and using Arduinos. So this is, this is not new, but I think yeah. the goal of this exercise, for me at least, is to gain a better understanding of how things work yeah and this is a prime example of how does it generate the tag id it's something that i took for granted using the proxmark you know it's like yeah. oh there it is 
so now by doing it yourself, um, I've, I've learned a lot. So, uh, so what we probably need to do then is, well, that would be even fuglier, wouldn't it, if we just did? Exactly. Yeah. There we go. Print two zero zero. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I, I suspect the correct answer is to not this. is is to chop is to chop it into two integers and then print the first one and the second one. Um, yeah, so that's that's the full right. So, and the reason I was curious um, to do this because I wanted my little reader rig to sort of. Output everything the uh, Proxmark could. Um, obviously, I know this can't write, uh, so the Proxmark is still a fantastic tool. But I wanted to see if I could essentially decode all the the data on the card, all the WeGAN stuff, and actually get it to print on my screen, um, and if I can understand what all the bits are, basically. Because one thing I'm not doing, or this code is not doing, is is it's not actually utilizing the parity bits at this time. Um, oh, it yeah. sort of takes a lot of this for granted, which yeah. I think is what's causing these intermittent read problems. Mm, um, okay. So it's it's reading the cards at random interval. You know, like before I get it into position, or if it's not correct, it you know it reads it funny. Yeah. Um, if that makes sense. So I'm, yeah. I'm guessing that's my issue. Again, I don't know, but that's the whole point of this. Yeah. Um, yeah, compile's fine. Cool. All right. Um, well, yeah, that's that's pretty ugly, but it works. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think the right answer, like I said, would be to chop it into like two. So I would probably end up like like anding so to get the to get the lower what is that one two three lower three bytes you would and it with three bytes of ones to get the upper three bytes well yeah you you, you do some uh and math to chop it into two uh, bit shift the bigger bigger one down so it, you know, the, whether it's the one or the zero or whatever it would be, and then you do that math and then you just print the two outputs together. But this works. Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, oh yeah, I think that's good enough for now. Uh, so you got time for another one? Yeah. So here's a here's another fun little thing that I've noticed. You'll see that my uh, my bit string just comes out on top. Yeah. Right. Um, I've been, just because I am who I am, I decided to line everything up. So that was all nice and neat. Mm -hmm. And um, I can't, I, I know how these are getting generated, but I'm trying to figure out the correct place in the code to put ah. like, you know, bi binary equals equals whatever. The first, right? the first zero that would come out, yeah. Right, and I need to put something, I want to put something before that. So all it's right. not, you know, ugly like that. Yeah, let me just... Um, sent me to the code and here's where it all is okay so this prints the ones and the zeros and the whatever all right so it's saying when int goes low it prints a zero mm -hmm. Okay, so we got flag done equals one. Right. So flag done equals one means there's no more pulses and I'm outputting stuff. So if you find the place that that first zero gets printed or where the zero, if you find the place that get zeros get printed. Yeah, it's done here. But the problem is it prints between each zero. Right, but. Oh, just right at the top, if, maybe. If flag done equals one, then print binary.
Uh, was it? I didn't look. Is it flag number one? No, it's flag done. You look down oh, like five lines. Done. It's changing the value. Oh, of it. there it is. There it is. Yeah. Flag done equals one. Uh, no, I don't want to print mine, do I? I just want to print. Um, right. I think you're missing a parenthesis, but otherwise, uh, after your if. Oh, thanks. Like where? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. That didn't work. Um, well, it didn't restart. I don't know why. Oh, done compiling. I don't think I uploaded it. Oh, OK. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. That would work. <laughs> there we go. Yay. Yay. So what I need to do is just figure out One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine in the space. Wait. I would say a space, eight in a space. Yep. That's what I was just thinking to myself. There we go. Nice. Right. Well, thanks, Kevin. Yep. Thanks for fixing my stuff. <laughs> uh, I just learned something new. Arduino can't deal with that big of integers. Those are pretty huge, huge integers, though. Those are big. Yeah, and I don't know. Um, I don't know how you would deal with them. Maybe that's why some of the Arduino code doesn't actually print the card ID. Yeah, um, or the tag ID. I wonder if there's an add-on library for super longs or something like that. Mm. Yeah, because obviously there's got to be a better way to do it, right? But it's hacky. It works. All I was really looking for is to give me the output anyway. Um, but yeah, cool. Well, thank you very much. Um, hopefully, uh, we can hang out again soon. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See you later. See you later. Thanks. Gavin, what you doing? Uh, clicking. We're supposed to be making videos, you know. Uh, that. It, it, clicking. It's so satisfying. Do you hear that clicking? I mean, it's fun. But don't you want to make more videos? No, I want to click. Okay. You know what? People could click like. They could. And then subscribe. And then subscribe and comment on the videos. Yes. Do that while I click. Click. <laughs>